Hello, everyone. Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. Continuing our journey through the book of Daniel this summer, we are in Daniel chapter four today, where King Nebuchadnezzar has told his dream to Daniel and Daniel is has interpreted it. We come to verse 28 today and we see the fulfillment of this dream, the fulfillment of the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had and that Daniel interpreted. We see what comes to pass. So verse 28, um, the Bible says, but all these things did happen to King Nebuchadnezzar. Twelve months later, he was taking a walk on the flat roof of his royal palace in Babylon. As he looked out across the city, he said, look at this great city of Babylon. By my own mighty power, I have built this beauty, this beautiful city as my royal residence to display my majestic splendor. While these words were still in his mouth, a voice called down from heaven. Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, this message is for you. You are no longer ruler of this kingdom. You will be driven from human society. You will live in the fields with the wild animals and you will eat grass like a cow. Seven periods of time will pass while you live this way until you learn that the Most High rules over the kingdoms of the world and gives them to anyone he chooses. That same hour, the judgment was fulfilled and Nebuchadnezzar was driven from human society. He ate grass like a cow and he was drenched with the dew of heaven. He lived this way until his hair was as long as eagle's feathers and his nails were like bird's claws. So what we have here is someone reaping the rewards, if you will, of their actions. But I would like to point out today that what Nebuchadnezzar has experienced is the result of what scripture tells us is one of the deadliest sins that any of us can have. And that is the sin of pride. If you look at what was said in verse 28 and following, Nebuchadnezzar was on the, the roof of his palace and he overlooked the city. And I just want to read for you the words again. Look at this great city of Babylon. By my own power, I have built this beautiful city as my royal residence to display my majestic honor. Notice how many times my and I are used in those words. Nebuchadnezzar was full of pride. Now he did not continue to acknowledge the one true God, although he would make statements proclaiming who God is. We're going to see that again um, tomorrow. But the thing that got him to that point, the, the thing that um, got him to understand and to think that he was greater than God was his pride. And in the world in which you and I live, in 2021, whether people realize it or not, the sin of pride is absolutely a major contributing factor to the things that we experience today. In fact, I would proclaim and, and suggest that pride has taken us to the point that many of us put ourselves on the throne and remove God from his rightful place. The Bible says that pride comes before a fall. 
may you and I get this attitude of pride in check and under control before the fall occurs. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that even in, in the life of somebody like King Nebuchadnezzar, we can gain insight. You can speak to us and we thank you that you do. Father, we pray that we will all get the sin of pride under control in our lives and that we will not let it get to the point that we remove you from the throne of our lives, but that we will continue to place you there, to honor you there, and to live, leave you there, Father, because it's truly all about you. We thank you, Father, that you are a forgiving God. You love us more than we can imagine, but you refuse to leave us that way. You refuse to leave us just the way we are. Draw us close to you today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, go out there and make it a terrific Tuesday. And uh, until tomorrow, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Have a great day. God bless you.